Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Gail, and whether it's about dermatology or sharing a piece of my personal world, I am here to bring authenticity and knowledge straight to you. Today's episode of Behind the Derm is a very special one. We have, of course, content creator John Angel here at Derm HQ to discuss his skin concerns and explore suitable treatments that will target his skin issues. So, let's get started. So, ayan, John. Gabi, welcome to my clinic. Thank um, you, Doc, for having me. Ang ganda dito sa Derm HQ. <laughs> Actually, second time pa lang na magkita ni John ng face-to-face. -face. Yes. We met at an event earlier this year after knowing each other for parang 2 to 3 years na. 2021 pa. Kaya ano, nakita kami for the first time, feeling namin close na. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, parang kilalang kilala na namin isa't isa. So, I've had you already sa YouTube ko yes. before, nung mga past yeah. years, and then sa event na yun. And now, I finally in Doc's Clinic, and I'm diba? super duper excited. So, Nagulat lang ako kasi yung tangkad pala ni Jan. Ah, diba? yeah. Para ako, oh, Jan. Oh, nagulat si Doc, pero ano din eh, si Doc very glowing. Grabe! <laughs> yeah, so ngayon, I'm very happy that you agreed to take part in one of my segments in my channel. So, Jan, let's talk about ano naman. Kasi kami, like ako even as a derm, mm -hmm. I'm also sometimes a patient. Mm -hmm. And si Jan, kahit ganyan ka glowing yung skin niya, Meron din yan mga pinagdadaanan minsan. May mga skin concerns din siya. So, I hope that this is an opportunity for everyone to get to know your struggles as, uh, you know, an individual also with your skin. Mm -hmm. So, medyo magaan na tayo pag-uusapan natin yung mga concerns mo. I hope you're okay about being candid yes. about your skin concerns. Prior to this, nagpadala ko ng questionnaire kay John. We won't discuss it anymore. But that sort of helped me understand yung mga concerns niya. And when I do consultations with my patients, sobrang importante na naiintindihan mo yung mga gusto nilang mangyayari. Kasi minsan, like ako as a derma, when I look at you, di ba parang for me, wala naman problem sa skin siya nang gata-gata na palat. But you should always allow your patients to voice out kung ano yung mga gusto niya i-improve. Kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng, ano, ng mga pinagdadaanan, even, even with our skin. So, sige dyan, can you tell everyone? Kasi I remember when we talked before, you mentioned that you had acne before. Yes. And you struggled with some skin concerns. Can you talk about it uh, briefly? Okay, so ako dok, up until now, acne talaga is one of my, I think, main concerns. Kasi dok, parang, I guess something that people tend to forget, kapag gumaling ka na sa acne, may maintenance pa rin, di ba? Correct. So parang ako, sometimes I still get breakouts here and there, oily pa rin talaga yung skin ko. And I think in general, yung pagkaroon ko ng acne-prone skin is something talaga to you know, maintain, oh, I guess. And always consider, no? Oh. Yeah. Pero alam mo, tama ka dyan, kasi maraming patients, pag gumaling na, they slack off. Diba? Yeah. Parang Hindi na sila mga medication. Mm -hmm. So parang ako talaga, Doc, sabi ko, na-experience ko ni acne before. Gusto ko na maging obedient and responsible na patient. Yes. Alam ko kasi yung ganun, di ba? Oo, totoo yan. So, yeah. so yeah. acne-prone skin? Yes, acne-prone skin. And aside from that, uh, ito, Doc, parang medyo genetic talaga siya, mm -hmm. I guess. Parang it runs in my family. Mm -hmm. So yung under eye score a bit dark. So, ang experience ko kasi is nanonotice ko naman siya and I kind of am okay with it. Sometimes I find myself parang sabi ko, but why do I look a bit tired? Mm. Even if I'm not tired, kahit na nakaka 7 hours of sleep ako. Mm. Sabi ko parang dark pa rin yung under eyes ko in a way. So, sabi ko baka something to do na with genetics or something to do kasi nagsa skin care naman yeah. ako. Yeah. So, parang hindi pa rin siya nawawala. So, I guess it's Deep a lot. Deep tayo. Ako, Dok. Diba, Dok? Parang ang, ang hirap Deep nung... Deep set kasi yung mata natin, eh. Ayun. So, I guess, Dok, parang yun yung challenge ko talaga na, I guess, since it's a lot of different factors, yeah. even if makapanood ako ng dermatologist online, mm. diba? Iba pa rin yung kapag nag-consult ka kasi parang tailor fit sa sa'yo and alam mo talaga yung Correct. specific causes. Yes. So, ayun. So, acne, pigmentation, anything else? Um, mostly yun lang, Doc. Yung sa under eyes ko and then yung sa acne. Siyempre, maganda rin, Doc, to have parang um, sometimes dahil sa stress, yung skin ko medyo dull. Mm. Maybe it would night, be nice also to have something na parang brightening mm. to make it look more, I don't know, like healthier, ganun. Pero ang swerte ni John, kasi even if he experienced acne before, I don't see like a lot of scars. So, again, good genes. Uh, so, buti na lang. Siguro naagapan mo yung treatment mo ng acne. Yes. And actually, Doc, nakalimutan ko pala, para lang i-disclose mm -hmm. ko rin. I did have yung tinatawag nila, Doc, na vascular laser for the yes. red mark. Kasi dami kong red marks dati, Doc. So, post-acne erythema. Yes. Oh, yes. And parang nahihirapan ako, Doc, kasi, di ba, 
it's not really marks. Yes. So, nahirapan na kung idaan sa skincare siya. So, pinalaser. Oh, then, mahirap talaga yung PAE. And everyone, uh, those who follow me, they know that. I always say na parang for PIH, effective yung mga topical ingredients. Pero pagdating sa post-acne erythema, pinaka-effective talaga yung laser. So, tama yung ginawa sa'yo. Yes. And vascular laser kasi it's red. So, other than that, no other skin concerns. Meron ka bang gustong, like, i-address or anything apart from your dark circles? And that we grow skin. Kasi tingnan nyo naman guys. Ay, grabe naman. Kaya naman gawin dito. Parang naman paisip na, ano ko sa skin ni John? Parang maganda naman sa skin. But yun, bina acne prone, does it mean that you also have oily skin or you're more combination? I think, Doc, right now, kasi before I had oral acne medications for around 6 months lang. And then, I told yung derm ko from before na parang I'm open to trying to maintain it using topicals. Correct. So now, I'm just on tretinoin. And then, Parang for a while, parang breakouts here and there, pero manageable naman siya. So yon. But now that I'm not anymore on that oral acne medication, because that's not doc parang combination to normal na ng skin ko. Pero ngayon, bumalik ang oily. So oily, oh yeah. Dalan talaga yun, kasi hindi ka naman pwedeng forever on that medication. Yes. But what's important is to maintain. Yes. And actually, doc speaking of maintenance, yung pores ko, I guess since oilier na siya. Medyo nag-expand siya na kung hindi lang bigger. Nag-expand. Nag-expand. Siyempre, kasi the oil occupying the pore. So, masipag ka ba with your skincare routine? Yes, Doc. So, may mga times lang, ay hindi ako perfect. May mga times lang, parang sobrang pagod na pagod ako. I forget to, alam mo yun, parang pag-cleanse lang ako, tas tulog na. Pero, most nights na itatawid ko, cleanse, tretinoin man lang. Tas matutulog na ako. The reason why I'm asking Jan is because as a dermatologist, syempre you want to give your patients what you feel they need. Pero kailangan mo rin tanongin kung willing ba sila, kung masipag sila. Kasi kung binigyan ka na ng five-step skincare routine, tapos tamad ka. Iisipin mo, ano ba yan? Si Doc, wala mo nangyayari sa skin ko kasi hindi mo nasunod, di ba? So it has to be like a partnership. That's why it's important talaga to consult. So since masipag si Jan, I won't worry about, you know, giving him, you know, like a three or four step skincare routine to maintain yung ano niya. Yeah, three to four steps, Doc. That's very realistic for me. Doable. Oo, same. So ngayon dyan, since ano, we've assessed you na, and so yung main concern mo is acne-prone skin and oily skin and pigmentation. What I normally do, kasi before I do any minimally invasive treatments on my patient, is that I prepare their skin first. Kasi parang ano yan eh, Parang bago ka magtanim, di ba? Kailangan yung soil mo fertilized para pag nilagay mo yung seed doon, well, nourish siya, maganda yung tubo niya. Same when I do skincare treatments. I don't do it right away. Kung hindi ko alam yung history ng skin ng pasyente, but knowing Jan, Angelo, I'm sure, Ay, masipag na masipag, tingin mo naman gumamit ng skincare. So, and sunscreen, I'm sure. Yes, So, day. hindi ako takot na gumawa ng procedure sa kanya today. So, Jan, when I want to discuss my patient's concerns, I normally take a photo of their skin. So, okay. we have a special camera here that shows your pigmentation, your sun exposure, sunspots, your redness, oh even your pores. Oh my God. And, kasi, ginagamit namin siya as sort of baseline. Okay. Kasi, When, alam mo naman yung mga pasyente, they're very meticulous. Sometimes they don't notice the small changes that occur on their skin kasi araw-araw na tinan yung skin nila, di ba? Yeah. And it's also an objective measure para malaman kung meron talaga improvement sa skin mo or wala. Kasi minsan, mm -hmm. naka four statements na pala, tapos wala naman nangyayari. So, that will also give me a chance to modify or change. So, yun yung first step natin. We will have someone clean Jan's face and we'll take a picture so that we can see and validate kung tama ba yung mga skin concerns and skin issues niya. And then after that, I plan to do two treatments for you today. First is a 3-in-1 um, deep cleansing facial. Three steps in hydrating, deep cleansing, and infusion. And then after that, we are going to do the Hollywood laser peel. So I'm sure that you're going to where you put carbon on the skin, etc., etc. Yes, ah. Uh, so yon. So I hope you're excited. And I really am. Ayon. So later on, we're gonna show you how it's done, and then we're gonna discuss after kung ano yung feel niya, kung comfortable ba or what yung trip. Ready ka na ba? Yes, ready, ready na. Okay. Ayan. So this is the special camera I was talking about earlier, Jan. Papatong mo lang yung chin mo dito, and then yung forehead mo dito, and then this is supposed to take. Photos of you and your skin. Okay. Uh, polarized siya, tapos meron din siyang UV light. So, yung mga normally hindi mo nakikita ng parang ganito, makikita natin. Pigmentation, redness, even your pores, like lines. 
and even yung parang sun damage or from before your pore size etc. Ano tawag sa kanya do? Well, the, the brand is Canfield Visha. Okay. Um, it's a skin analyzer, so it helps kasi to have an objective measure mm -hmm. of improvement. Kasi di ba minsan pag kinukunan mo lang siya, pwedeng pag masyadong bright yung light, nakawala yung pores. Yes. Or pag masyadong dark, nakikita yung mga shadows. Mm. So this one, you'll be taking the same photo, before and after, same position, same whatever. So very objective. Same lighting, okay. ganyan. Okay. Please put your, rest your chin and then your forehead down. And then close your eyes. And then i-click natin siya doon. Three shots siya. Okay, and then I will, don't move yet na may. And then one last, the other side. So just keep your eyes closed. Okay, finished. Yun na yun. And then, okay. makikita natin doon sa computer kung ano yung mga skin concerns mo. Kung totoo ba talaga ng pigmentation yung issue mo, or pores, or redness. Okay. So yung sounder eyes ko rin, Doc, malalaman natin. Makikita niya natin. Wow, okay. Excited ka lang. Yeah, super. Ah, sige. Ito na yung photos na tinake natin kanina. Oh my God. And it shows you, nakikita mo dito, Yes. And spots, wrinkles, texture, pores, UV spots, brown spots, yeah. red areas, etc. And yung percent, though? So, yung percent, pag the higher your percentage, the better. Parang means, score. Oo, parang it means that out of 100%, kumbaga, pagating sa mga spots, andong ka sa top 94% na walang spots. Oh my God! Oh, di ba? Nakakagulat daw pa kasi akala ko spots yung main ko. Isa wrinkles. Ayan, oh my God! Red. <laughs> 33! Nakakatakot doon. Hindi naman. Kasi ibig sabihin lang yan, parang compared to majority of the people na ano, mas marami kang wrinkles compared to them. Okay. Texture, you fared okay. It means that out of 100%, okay ka pa. Pores din. Oh, hindi ganun kalaki yung pores mo. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. UV spots, surprisingly, hindi din daw. Compared to... Pero meron din na yun. No? Like, yeah. Kasi siguro dati hindi ka masyado na ba? Yes. Brown spots, you have quite a few. Pero compared to a lot of people in your age group, hindi ganun kagrabe. Tama nito, halos wala ka ako. Kunti lang. Pero, red. Red yung marami ka. Red, yes. Uh, red talaga yung marami ka. Hindi pa rin bad. Uh -oh, Actually, maganda yung skin. Really, though? Oh, oh my God. Sabi. Halika na, uwi na tayo. Uwi na tayo. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so para kung tatanungin yung machine, ang napansin niya lang sa'yo, more red areas. Red. Pero let's look at your other view. So question, Doc, sorry, yung sa wrinkles, wrinkles ka as a concerned person, does it show which parts specifically? Ayan. Ah, dito talaga sa eyes. Kaya siya nag-dark, Doc. So I guess na-discover na. Okay. Pwede, ayun nga, grabe yung eyes. Ibig sabihin, either dehydrated yung under eye mo, kaya siya maraming lines. Hmm. Or meron ka mga allergic rhinitis. Yes. Ayun. Ayun yung bilang allergy. Ayun, ang gaya. Kaya, kaya ka ano, you fared bad sa wrinkles. Kasi tingnan mo naman yung lines mo. Grabe. Oo. Sa, pero ano talaga, I guess, dyan ang gagaling yung concern ko na under eyes. Okay. And then, pigmentation niya not, not so much eh. Red areas mo actually more sa around the nose. Ayan. Yours is more wrinkles and texture. And texture. You want to see your true skin age. Yes. Oh my God, feel older. Ah! <laughs> Born! Younger oh ka God. by two years. Oh my God, 26. I'm so happy. Thank you, sunscreen. <laughs> diba? So, yun yung advantage of having ano, like an objective camera that measures or, or sees talaga kung ano yung concerns. Kasi diba minsan akala mo red this yung pala. Tingnan mo ikaw, akala mo sa yung brown spots. But yun actually fair to well. Yung sayo more of texture and wrinkles and red areas. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now let's proceed to the treatment. Okay. Ready ka na? Yes. Okay, Jan. So yung first step natin for this afternoon's treatment is a hydrodermabrasion. Bali tong machine na to, three steps siya. It is using a silicone tip. So pag, pag ano naman siya, hindi siya abrasive, very soft siya. Okay. And it's able to do its job. So, yung first step natin is to exfoliate and peel. So, it, remove, it will remove the top layer of your skin. Um, tatanglin yung mga dead skin, etc. 
after that is the cleansing and extraction. So, habang iniikot ni Joy, by the way, this is Joy, habang iniikot ni Joy yung tip all over your face, nakiklean siya, and then natatanggal rin yung mga mapababo ng mga uh, impurities, etc. And then finally, it will infuse uh, serums that your skin needs. So, parang kung, kung, baga, kung oily or acne prone ka, more on the BHA si mga infuse or even like AHAs, ganyan. So, after nito, um, yung feeling ng skin mo parang soft siya. And this can be a standalone treatment if you just want maintenance every six to eight weeks or even every four weeks or as something that you do to prepare the skin prior to another procedure. So, yun yung gagawin natin sa you today. Oh, okay. okay. To prepare for the other laser. Yes. Yeah. So, later, di ba magana tayo Hollywood laser peel. So, yes. ito, it will prepare your skin for that. Okay. Got okay. It. So, enjoy. Thank you, though. So, Jan, what we're gonna do is the Hollywood Spectra. Ito kasi, how it works, diba? It's a pigment laser. So, maglalagay muna ako ng carbon on your skin. Itong carbon na to, it will go inside your pores and attach itself to all the dirt, oil, and debris. Okay. Para pag tinanggal natin yung carbon using the laser, lahat ng mga dumikit doon, matatanggal din. So, this is ideal for those with oily, acne-prone skin. And doon sa may mga and even skin tone and blotchy pigmentation who don't really want the downtime of a 532 laser. So, yung una-unang gagawin natin na step is yung, um, it's called the spectra step. So, ang ginagawa niya, binabind niya yung carbon so that it will attach to all the impurities on your skin, all the oil, dirt, and debris. And at the same time, meron din siyang slight heating. So, parang sinistimulate din niya ng konti yung collagen natin sa skin natin. The Hollywood laser peel, kaya siya trademark and registered kasi they actually did a clinical study that proved na merong benefits. So, naging popular lang siya as a carbon laser peel kasi the Hollywood laser peel name is trademark. So, parang hindi mo siya pwede gamitin kung hindi Hollywood spectra yung gamit mong machine. O, oh, diba? Trivia! May mga fun facts. I love it. In terms of pain, when we're doing the spectra treatment, since we're, we're using low energy lang at 0.9 joules, ang mararamdaman mo ng konting heating. Um, when we remove the carbon, we also use low energy kasi since may pigment yung skin mo pag sobrang high energy, baka naman masunog yung banag mo. But once all the carbon is removed and we now proceed to the dermal heating, tatasan na natin yung energy. So, hindi naman siya masakit, heat pa rin siya. So, now we will cover Jan's eyes para protect pitcha from the laser. Jan, patong ko lang. Okay. And then, Joy and I will also put on our mask. And i-on natin yung smoke evacuation device so that hindi natin ma-inhale yung smoke. So, ready? Finish! Yay! So, itinin! Just relax lang ako. Uh -oh. Nice. So, how would you say um, the treatment fair? Nasaktan ka ba? Um, um, ano lang, siguro parang nagugulat lang ako. Oh, nasa putok-putok, no? Oo, uh -oh, may kasama lang na factor yun. I think hindi siya may iwasan kasi laser eh. Yes, tsaka pag tinatanggal niya yung carbon, syempre nagaan siya. Yeah, but all in all, parang it's very comfortable naman na experience. I think even for those na mababa ang pain tolerance, parang ako kasi doc medyo, admittedly medyo mataas eh. Feel mm -hmm. ko. Feel ko. Wow. Uh -oh. Pero ano, parang 
feel ko even those na medyo mababa yung pain tolerance, kakayanin nila, magugulat lang sila, pero that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, finish na yung, yung treatment ni Jan, and yeah, and he was saying that it wasn't painful, so I wanted him to look at his face yeah. so that he can appreciate. So, yes. may mga areas of redness, I think from the facial, yan. Yeah. Yes. Oh, but in general, parang, yun na nga, usually mattifying siya. Yeah, grabe yung ano, nagulat ako talaga sa yung parang powder finish. Kasi ako talaga as an oily skin. Sa oily skin. Ako. Parang sobrang shiny. Tab, shiny. Pero parang very refreshing na to see your skin na hindi siya sobrang babad oily. sa oil. Parang like the typical, ano. So, yeah. So, you were assessing, yun na yun, 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 kita mo yun, konting-konting lang. Yeah, oo. Okay. So, yun yung nakita din kanina sa Misha. Yeah, meron dalawang buhit. Ah, uh, may dalawang buhit sa taas. And then yun dito mo kasi feeling ko, yan, nakita mo more from allergic or nyquist and everything. It will be solved by that. Future HA treatment. Oo nga. Excited na rin ako for that. So, yeah. Ayan. So, ito, usually, ang interval na nirecommend namin sa patients is like, um, four to six weeks interval. Okay. For the Hollywood laser peel. And then you can do a series of like, anywhere from three to six in a year. And then, next time ulit. So yung mga ganito, Doc, di ba, we plan to do something pa, dapat. Uh, pwede mo na siyang isabay with, for example, magpapaganan ako sa yeah, eye. Yeah. Both of them can be done yeah. even before. Oh, okay. Kasi, di ba ngayon, time is of the asset. Yeah. Especially because of the traffic and all. Parang most patients wanna go to you and do everything that they can in one day. Kasi yung parang babalik ulit sila for another visit, parang ganun. Pwede na ba, Doc, kung mag-ano? Like, wash ng face. Wash ng face. Pwede na, Doc. How about ano doc yung sa pagsuot ng makeup kanya? Pwede na. But sa, yung parang usually ako after this treatment, siguro tonight after washing face and moisturizer, yun na muna. Don't na muna apply your active. So, so ni muna ako doc for the no in for tonight. Yep. Tomorrow na. Tomorrow back to normal. Back to normal oh. tomorrow. So ano talaga siya doc walang downtime wala. Wala, di ba? Wala siyang downtime. I love it. Tapos pwede ako doc like kunyari, magre-rent ako sa mag-workout ako or Pwede naman na. kasi wala naman siyang ano eh. Wala naman injury sa skin eh. So okay lang yun. Ah. Okay. So wala talaga ng down. Workout yes. talaga. Ikaw oh, workout talaga. Pag mag-workout. Wow. <laughs> Here's your solution, Ken. Mag-workout na din ako. Yeah. Ako doc near sa solution. Ano? Yung wrinkle. Tara. <laughs> No bother ka talaga. No bother talaga. Kasi in fairness, I mean, hindi naman sa parang na insecure ako, but in a way, parang mas alam ko na kung ano yung target ko sa skin ko. So that really helped yung parang may objective ka talaga yes. to, to see kung ano yung mga dapat na Kaya I like the camera kasi it doesn't lie. Parang it sees things that we don't. Oh, di ba? Yeah. Tsaka very parang objective na, alam mo yun, hindi ka talaga ma... I don't know, for me, it felt very safe na parang ito talaga siya. Wala namang anything na... Yeah. And then try to hydrate then your eyes. That will help. That will minimize the wrinkles. Moisturizer yeah. or eye, eye cream. cream yeah. Diba? So, okay. Noted yan daw. Alright. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jan, for being so participative in game. Yes, diba? I'm so happy. As in... Kaya talagang walang makeup yan. Natotoong skin niya talaga yan. <laughs> Pero thank you so much, Doc, also for having me. I'm so happy. And rest assured, as in... After this, magpapaano ako. Babalik ako dito. Magsischedule lang ako for the eyes. Um, yeah, overall, it was such a really nice experience here sa Derm HQ with Doc Gale. And grabe talaga. As in, can't wait for my next session. I know, Whoa! ako din. Ako din. <laughs> Gusto ko yun na meron tayong documentation so that when you come the next time, yeah, we may can track your, yes, your progress. Okay. Alright. Thanks, guys.